Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the Roving Giant here. I got my wife Casey with me. Say hi Casey. Hi. Uh, we are heading out for a March winter camp. Yes, you heard it right. My wife is going winter camping with me because she's a rock star. <laughs> so, earning points. Earning brownie points. So yeah, let's hit the trail. <laughs> trail we're here at Carlton Hill. It is probably going to be the last winter trip of the year because it is mid-March and well about that time I'm actually really excited that we actually had a little bit of snow left for this last trip. I'm sure Casey's a little less excited that there's more snow but she's pumped about it. She wanted to go on a winter trip. <laughs> yeah I got, they said we were going to have five inches on the ground. I don't think that looks like five inches to me but yeah, we're gonna have some good grub tonight. Hang out in the in the dually hammock setup, side by side hammocks, which is awesome, and uh, enjoy some good breakfast. I brought the cast iron skillet because why not? Yeah, it's close to home, fun stuff. You want me to move to the next one? Or you can yeah, I'm going to do another one. <laughs> I got it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> High five. Thanks. <laughs> Nice. Cool. Whoop. That didn't stay. Got a little bit of this on the fire, so it's got a little bit of ah, meat to its sparks. bones. Yeah, Spark City. Ta da! Hot yeah. doggy! We got some wind tonight. Yeah. That's true. Alright, folks, you see this? This is a venison tenderloin. We're eating good tonight. So, hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I talked Casey into going on this trip. We got some food cooking on the on the campfire. I'm looking forward to eating it. I don't know about you. Yes. Yes, definitely looking forward like to eating food. it. <laughs> <laughs> like food. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought I'd let Casey tell you. I don't know, Casey. What 
why do you actually want to go winter camping with me? Because <laughs> I'm crazy on my own, but why do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, it earns me a lot of brownie points. <laughs> really though, he enjoys doing it, and I think when your partner likes something, you should give it a try. Uh, that said, I have not gone winter camping in a long time. It's been a few years. Um, because it's not my favorite thing. <laughs> I'd rather be inside where it's warm, reading a book, drinking tea, watching a movie. Cozy. I like cozy things. Likes cozy things. Um, <laughs> this isn't really cozy, although the hammock situation I'm excited for. I have a zero degree bag that I haven't yet used, and I'm excited about that. And mm -hmm. so there is a cozy aspect to this, but yeah. it is nice. There are no bugs, so that's a fun way to camp. No bugs. Um, and there is a beauty to it that um, is just different from summer camping. So, mm. so. so what advice, Casey, what advice <laughs> would you give guys who really want their wives to go <laughs> winter camping? What advice would you give them to convince their wives to go winter camping? See, I have to be on the girls' team, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the phrase? Never mind. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know, just the no bugs thing is pretty nice. Um, I know I've, the, when I've gone before, I felt really tough and really, really like did it. Like I, it was not necessarily the best sport the whole time the first time we went. I was better the second time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I did feel like I did something really like different and interesting and a little bit hard. So I don't know if she's into accomplishments of different, you know, try, uh, stretching herself or whatever, that's one thing. I do think it earns me brownie points. I'm serious yeah. about the brownie points. Like serious I, about I brownie feel like it, I kind of can sail on this for a while. <laughs> and I get to brag about her. So wives, if you really want your husbands to brag about you, go winter camping. I guarantee they will brag about you. <laughs> but he should do something with you too. So, yes, you know, it needs to go is, both ways. I have to great. read a book every once in a while. <laughs> this is great leverage for, you know, if there's that thing that you want to do <laughs> that you know just be like sure honey i'll go winter camping and then just thank it i know that's not how healthy relationships work <laughs> but i'm just saying like if you want an incentive that's something there you have leverage now um it's true i have leverage now. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> she does she has leverage now this isn't the direction you want this to go is it it's honest <laughs> it's honest <laughs> but yeah <laughs> I'm just excited that Casey's along. We've, we've pretty much run out of daylight, so I'm doing this off of the uh, headlamp and I need to keep checking on the food, but um, thanks for coming along. Uh, I'll show you tomorrow morning and everything and uh, give you a little better feel for what the hammock setup looks like. You didn't get to see it very much tonight and we're doing this cool side-by-side -side, uh, flying V hammock thing going on. <laughs> flying V, yeah, it's like spread at one end, yeah. It's, an aviation move exactly um we're, we're we are going tree sailing tonight <laughs> um but uh yeah i'll show you a little bit of that gear in the morning but until then well actually yeah we'll show you the gear in the morning and uh have a good evening stay curious is that too early to say that yeah that's too oh. early we say that after don't be curious end. don't be yet. curious yeah wait <laughs> until <your> tomorrow curiosity. <laughs> stifle your curiosity <laughs> hey good morning everybody casey and i are uh, avoiding getting up because it's warm here and it's cold out there. <laughs> right, Casey? Yeah, it's been so windy. <laughs> it was really windy last night, all night, and the snow was swirling in our hammock, and it's just not. Uh, I don't like wind. Wind is not as fun as other things are. <laughs> um, I had to set up a another tarp out here like this blue uh, plastic wall Wally World tarp to uh, let's see I just want to make sure I'm still in focus but um, yeah I had to set that up because the wind was blowing in so much that we were getting covered in snow so uh, you can see the spreader bar system up there a little bit past our Christmas lights it's the uh, Eno spreader bars um, they're they were cheap so I picked them up and they worked really well um, the thing that's tricky though is Casey's hammock is a nine and a half foot hammock and mine is eleven and a half foot hammock so it's uh, just they don't line up right so it's hard to get the two hammocks to really uh, I don't know 
to get them to lay equally, like Casey's head end is a little higher than her foot end, which isn't ideal. Um, but made it through the night just fine. We noticed it once I was in my sleeping bag, so. Yeah, she was already in her sleeping bag, so. I decided I was okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> there are compromises you make because you're already warm and you don't want to get cold again. Yeah. Um, let me think here. How was your how was your first night? Oh, we gotta ask Casey. Casey, how was your first <laughs> night uh, sleeping in the hammock in the winter? Uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I feel like uh, getting up to go to the bathroom, which you seem to do a lot in the winter, uh, is more complicated with having a big sleeping bag and trying to get out of it. But in the summer, I'm trying to get out of a bug net, so it kind of all, all ends up in the wash. <laughs> Half of one. Yeah. It was pretty good though. Six of the other. Pretty. Yeah. Six of one. Six of one, half dozen the other. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I guess. Um, yeah, it was not the most pleasant of nights. I've I've enjoyed nights where it was colder um, than this, but the wind just is the worst. I. I think that's the one thing that I'm, I'm admitting that uh, ground dwellers have over tree dwellers is you heard you heard it from me. <laughs> ground dwellers have uh, not being like swirled around by wind. They've got that covered. Now I know there are options for hammocks that I, I'd be interested in trying sometime. Um, maybe doing something like a a wind sock around the whole hammock so that you're totally enclosed. It kind of acts like a windbreaker jacket or something like that. I haven't tried it yet. Open to it. A uh, night like tonight makes me want to do it. Um, but yeah. Well, I think I'm going to get up and try to get the fire going so that we can have some breakfast. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Cool. I'll stay here. <laughs> I'll stay here. <laughs> Hey, so I, uh, I tried that first time on the fire and it just didn't work. I was not, I didn't prep that fire enough. And that was the last bit of tinder that I had because I did not bring the right stuff. I just wasn't prepared. So I'm gonna have to do a little bushcrafty style stuff. I found some good tinder uh, bark that I'm gonna scrape up so it'll catch a, catch a spark and hopefully we'll be able to work off of that. Yeah, I saw that.
frustrating. When in doubt, toilet paper. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. I'm feeling optimistic. You excited about breakfast? Yes. <laughs> I love breakfast. <laughs> How's the hash case? Oh, so good. How's the kung fu? Oh, it's kung fu. <laughs> uh, yes. I love that that exists. Right? Or as, as Neil would say, as we uh, swap lies. <laughs> I am five feet tall. I do not have hash all over my snow pants. <laughs> I feel like I need to have a funny story. Yeah. I'm trying to eat this hash while it's still warm. Oh, it's so good. Every last drop. <laughs> How many times did you have to go to the bathroom in the night? Two. All right. You? Three? Three? You're the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> it was less than when we did our first trip. It was like nine. Yeah. <laughs> I was so cold all night. I should have gotten up three. <laughs> Ew. But I was able to hold it, but it kept waking me up. Yeah. So I didn't get as good of a sleep because I didn't get up for that third time. Yeah, I kept thinking, like, maybe it'll go away. Nope. No, it doesn't. I know that. <laughs> I'll put this in the trash bag. Yes. <laughs> and right when I didn't want to get up, I would suddenly hear the little scream. Oh, like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> So we uh, packed up camp and got our fire all put out. Casey put the fire out and we did our thing and this thing doesn't want to see us in the middle for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna head out. It's been a fun camp trip. Any last thoughts, Case? Oh. No? Stay curious. Stay curious, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you next time. I appreciate you telling me. Sounds like
Oh, honey. <laughs> You're gonna be grateful to uh, get to the truck. Yeah. <laughs>